All right, what is going on, everybody? It's Sparkle Fresh, and we are back with the second half of our playing lesson for Power Star Golf on the Xbox One for Emperor's Garden. Uh, this is going to be the back nine. Still the pro tees. And no, I don't want to do that. All right, so let's jump into this. Nothing, nothing changed there. I really like that art style. Nice. All right, so we're starting off on the back nine with a par five. Let's see what we got to work with here. Man, that is tight. So obviously, if you want to play it safe, if you don't feel comfortable, or you just don't have enough power, you're going to want to leave yourself back in this area. Um, definitely come down a few clubs if you can. And you really just want to play it safe and you want to hit it. You want to leave yourself a little bit of room, however, to clear this ridge in front of you. If you hit it too close, then this will be really hard to carry if you have a... Uh, club that doesn't have a lot of loft, so you'll probably end up having to lay up. But if you leave it back here, you might be able to give your chance a go. Uh, might be able to give your <coughs> sorry self a chance to go for the green and two. But since we brought Frank and we have a extra, we have extra power. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it up here. I'm gonna realign myself. This is a tough shot, but. I've said it before, when you're playing on a par 5, it's all about a risk-reward factor. So even if I mishit this <clears throat> and wind up short in this area, I could still just lay up and give myself a really good chance at a birdie. But it is a par 5, so we want to try to make an eagle. Or at least give ourselves a chance for one, so we're just going to go for it. First shot of the day. Come on. Close. Now you just cross your fingers and you hope. Please land in the fairway. Please land in the fairway. Please stop. No, that's going to be in the rough. Slow down. All right, it's okay. Semi-rough, that's not too bad. There's not too much trouble with there's a... The screen is really long from front to back. Overall, on shots like this, especially the rough, I'm not trying to do anything, you know, in particular. Ideally, I just want to be about pin high somewhere. I will have to come up one more club. And it is into the wind, so I think just playing it back in this area. The green is obviously sloping down in this direction once we get... It's kind of on a mound right here, but once we get to about right here, it starts going downhill. So any, anything we have that's past the hole is going to be all right. So I'm just going to play it there. Shot. Man, I might have to get a drink of water. I didn't quite reach the crest, which is going to leave a difficult putt. For an eagle. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to use one of my putting predictions here. Golly. <laughs> That's horrible. All right, so there's not that much break to it, actually. Still too much. Oh my God, that was horrible. For a birdie. Seems to be uphill. Come on, baby. Birdie. All right, so we still made a birdie. We didn't hit the best first putt. But because we took that chance, it was an easy birdie. And those are always good. I mean, depending on what type of player you are, you always want to give yourself the best chance at a birdie. And taking a little bit of risk every now and again is going to allow you to do that. So in this shot, I'm actually going to put some backspin on my drive. It's not going to have a whole... It's not going to you know, add a lot of backspin to it or anything. But it will help to slow the, the ball down a little bit just because we don't want it to run off the fairway. But this is a pretty straightforward shot. 
if you have to land it shorter, just be wary of you know, the fact that this does slope down into this direction. So you might want to hit a fade shot into the hill to slow it down a little bit. But just <clears throat> hopefully you added enough power that you can come up here. It is a little bit downhill, so... I might have to get a drink of water. Perfect shot. Whew. All right. So there is a heavy slope right here. So we're going to want to be in this, in this vicinity for the easiest putt. I mean, it doesn't always work out that well. Remember, you have to kind of caution. You have to play a little bit cautiously in, in case you make a mistake. So... Instead of coming way far in this direction, I'm probably just going to stay here, even though I'll, I'll end up on the left side of the pin. That's, that's where I want to be. So it is into the wind. Might be a little too far. Over easy. The wind is pretty strong, though. Bite. Not too bad. For a birdie. A little tricky little short putt. Hammer it in. That last video I did ended up being like 20 minutes or so. So I'm going to try to do this one a little bit quicker. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say no. <laughs> Don't go for this. Unless you're betting your friends or you just feel like ruining your round. That's just, that's for chumps right there. Look at the world record. Holy crap. Forget that. I'm going to come down a club. I might even... Just depends on how, on how comfortable you feel. I mean, this is a huge slope right here, so everything is going to trickle down in this area. But I'm just going to play it over here. I feel confident enough that I can hit that little, little trunk of fairway. Shot. There we go. Alright, so we still have a decently long shot here. Once again, I mean, the pin is all the way back, so you don't really have to worry too much about this stuff. Always put the backspin on it. Probably be a little bit short, but that is okay. I'm not going to play it as far this way because if I leave myself a putt from this direction, that will be hellacious. So hopefully we can be you know, in and around this area. I might take a little bit of backspin off. No, I lied. That's what I'm talking about. I really wanted to hit that one with full power. Big bounce. Whew. That's actually not going to be an easy putt, though. Great approach. It's not good. For a birdie. Seems the slope left. Crap. Easy does it. Oh! <laughs> Snuck it in. That's what I like to call a butt clincher, because your butt cheeks just clinch right up. Results. Alright, off to a good start. We got a par three coming up. I forgot what this heavy wind could interfere with your shot. <clears throat> oh yeah, I remember. There's a pretty significant slope. Uh, I mean, there's all of these pins seem to be like they're on crest. But if you are behind the hole in this direction, and it's going to be a lot easier than if you are up in, you know, up in this area. So I definitely recommend, well, the club I have... I can just play it, you know, 100% power. The wind is blowing pretty heavily directly at us, though. So it might not get all the way there. It's okay. Not like that. Just big bounce. Okay, that's not horrible. For a birdie. That's a tricky little putt. You can see it kind of... Snaps down at the end right there. Easy does it. 
I should have hit that harder. I was afraid of it. Results. New challenge. Heavy wind could interfere with your shot. All right, so there's two landing areas on this hole. You have this side over here, which to be honest with you, if you need to land it in this area, then, you know, feel free. It's not the easiest landing area, but it is downhill, so you can come down a club, put some backspin on it, and you should be able to hold this area area relatively easy. If you want to play a little more on the safe side, come over here. That way, if you miss hit it, worst thing that's going to happen is you'll be in the semi-rough. But we have a little bit more power. It's straight down wind, and I'm going to put a little bit of topspin on this one just to get a little more roll out of it. Because it's downhill so much and it's into the wind, I don't have to worry about the ball landing in this area at all. So we can just take a nice good crack at it. Even if we miss hit this a little bit, we should be okay. Now this shot. <coughs> okay, I'm good. All right, so on a shot like this, make sure that you play this shot to where you'll be behind the hole, especially if you're worried at all. The last thing you want to do is try to get cute with it and play it up here short and then just miss hit it a little bit. You know, this game isn't hot shots. You can't add power and subtract power. So if you do miss, you know, your marker... Just by a little bit, you could possibly end up here, and it's going to cost you a couple strokes. So, in shots like this, it's best thing to do is just play it safe. Play it a little bit longer than you would you know, think that you wanted to, but in the end, it's a safe shot, and you're not going to end up making a bogey or a double bogey here. So even though that goes you know, past the hole and it's not... Well, not the greatest thing in the world, and we don't have the easiest putt. We still have a putt for birdie, and we'll still probably make a par here relatively easy. So even though this is uphill, you can see it actually starts to go downhill. So this is going to be really tricky, actually. I might use my putt prediction on this. Is that going in? Oh, please. Come on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh well. It was an easy par. Results. But as you guys get more familiar with the you know distances and the shot types you hit, you'll be able to land the ball a little bit closer and this is a really long par three. Sorry, it kind of stopped me short in my sentence. But you guys will be able to just hit those shots easier. Wow, this is a difficult shot. So, I mean, I'm already seeing this. This is a huge slope. You could see if we look, we're at 42 feet. And then it just constantly keeps climbing downhill. So that's a good drop of about five feet from here to here. So it's not really going to be an area that we can hit a chip shot, which means that we don't really have a good chance of making that shot. So if we're in this area, we're looking at par at best. So ideally, we want to be a little bit past the hole here. Come down a club. Put backspin on it. Play for the winds. I'm just trying to hit this ball past the hole. Oh, no. It is downhill, so we might be okay. Get into that slope and then go in the hole. No, not bad though, not bad. For a birdie, it's slightly uphill. Slightly uphill, huh? It's a weird angle. I don't know why I'm so confused right now. My 
My putting, my short game has gone to hell. Results. Three pars in a row. We gotta snap that. We gotta, we gotta get a birdie on this hole. Mind the cross wind. All right. So, okay, this is an interesting hole. You have a really tight area to land. It's almost like a par three shot right here. If you don't, this is where power is going to come in handy because this is a lot downhill. So that means the ball is going to fly in the air much farther. The wind is not in our face. You know what? I might not even need to use my power shot here. Let me see. It's so far downhill. I'm going to kind of do, I'm going to experiment with this for you guys. If I bring it right here and just hit it, we might be able to get to the fairway. Fly. Uh, no. Not quite. Semi rough, though. That's not bad considering how much closer we are. If you don't have the power, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, just leave yourself back. You're going to have a little bit more difficult shot into this hole. Or if you want to go for it and, you know, possibly give your chance to the eagle, put topspin on that ball, use your power boost, but I'm not sure I would quite recommend it for that shot. I'm going to save that for something that's a little more difficult, uh, like a par five. All right, so we want to be to the right of this. A shorter shot so you don't have to play as much wind because the ball's not going to be in the air quite as long but hey we got a birdie we broke the streak Results. all right so there's two holes left par four and a par five probably save our uh, last power shot for the par five Mind the cross wind. this is a tricky little shot right here so you have two, two places that you can go. You can come this direction, which I don't recommend because I'm all about leaving you know, room for air. And there's just not, wait a second. You actually have a really clear shot at the pin right there. <laughs> I might do that. Let's see. Yeah, it's a relatively clear shot here. I always like looking, being able to see the pin on my next shot. Okay, so here's the thing. This is the safe area. If you want to play it safe, then this is going to be your go-to spot. The only thing that you're going to have to take into consideration is this hill right here. The pin is right behind it. You can see where it's pointing down right there. So if you hit it short, if you don't have enough power, then that's going to be in trouble, and you're going to actually have to leave yourself back over here. I, however, I'm feeling like it. I feel like I got this. I'm going to put some backspin on it, and I am going to go for it. That's, I mean, that's, that's a clear shot right there. Over easy. Looking good. Very nice. Now we got a clear shot into the screen. And the nice thing about hitting it over here, actually, is that you have a way better uh, vantage point of this pin right here, and you don't have so much bunker to go over. So if you're hitting it from the other side, you're going to have to go over all of this bunker, and you, get, you, you only have a very small area to land. I mean, what is that? I don't know. A yard or two from this spot to this spot. So you're going to have to stop that very short. It's going to be downhill, so the ball will probably take a big old bounce. But this spot's a little bit better. We could probably play it you know, in and around this area. And yes, well, we will end up a little bit past the hole. But that's okay. It's all about playing safe, giving yourself uh, a chance to make a birdie. And you definitely only want par at worst. A little too hard. Gotta love it. Get down. Fight. That really slopes down hill right there. For a birdie. It's slightly uphill. A foot. Okay. 
You gotta hit these so hard. That was too hard. No! Oh my. For pa. I really should have practiced a little bit before I just got back in here and started wailing away at it, but it's okay. Results. Putting takes a little bit of time. There's so much feel involved to it. <clears throat> when you start putting good, I mean, you can just do it. I mean, you can just walk up there, aim, and hit it. You just know exactly where it's going to go. Hmm. I'm afraid that even if I use my power shot here, it's not going to be much help. This is, this is going to be a tricky shot right here. I mean, this whole fairway slopes from the back to the front, so we're going to have to definitely put on my backspin. I might see if I can come down a club. Maybe. Hmm. I think I am going to come down a club. It's pretty heavily downwind, so I'm going to hope I'm going to hope that the wind will carry the ball to the fairway. But I also want to leave myself enough trajectory to get over these trees, just in case I hit a bad shot. Once you make up your mind, you just got to hit it. You just got to trust it. You know, don't worry about it because you can't do anything about it after you hit it. Oh man. Out. Alright, so maybe I should have went with the driver. But it's still a par 5. We are in the rough, so there's a not as good percentage of a chance that we're going to hit a solid shot here. But the chance of us uh, making a birdie are, are st is still really, really high. So those, uh, you know, taking that little risk with the driver is worth it. Didn't look like it gave me the 90. All right, so we're gonna have a long eagle putt on the last hole. What is it with all these putts that look like they might be straight in? You know what? I'm just gonna play it straight in. I haven't even played one straight in, and I haven't made one, so. <laughs> oh, I suck. Alright. Anyways, it was an easy birdie. So I hope this walkthrough helps you guys. I'm not I'm not quite sure if it was very helpful or not. But I'm always willing to take suggestions. Leave them down in the comments below. And I think we did hit hundred subscribers, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a video for a giveaway. Got some digital movies. And I'm not sure what else I'm gonna do if if you guys have any suggestions about other types of videos you want, or if you want me to do a walkthrough of another course, or you want me to be a little more specific, just let me know in the comments and I will do my best to get that for you. But until then, you guys have a good one and I will see you next time. Take it easy.